And what's the experience been with the growth of internet traffic for your home office and your network control center in Dallas? I noticed that recently you had a major upgrade to the internet capacity uh, there. Certainly we're measuring terabytes of data moved weekly. We're, me we're measuring average bandwidth used daily uh, and we're measuring petabytes per year worth of data movement. Just to give you an example, Michael, I think this might help you. Um, the cameras inside of the local area network, the, the essentially the camera network that's on our client site, an individual 1.3 megapixel camera can, can get up to as much as 10 megabits per second. Now, when we have clients that have two, two, two cameras on a baseball stadium, it's not of much concern. But when you're installing hundreds of cameras for a client's location, you've got to have a pretty serious network at the client side. Obviously, the video analytic engines that we run on the client side is very critical to knowing what kind of video data to send back to us in real time in order to, for our business to scale. And to uh, clarify that for listeners, it sounds like what you're saying is that uh, although there's huge bandwidth uh, requirements within the customer premise, the customer that you're working with for their video cameras, you have uh, special analytics tools that are able to crunch, crunch that data at the customer site. And so therefore, it's not all getting back all to your network. What we do is high, buy a high quality piece of glass, a high quality camera, put it on the, connect it to that high quality network, store it all locally, process the video analytics at a, at a, high, at a high quality video feed with a lot more horsepower, uh, and then decide what comes home to Dallas to be monitored uh, in real time in a low stream.